All right, let's get going. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Certainly love going live on the weekend for these cryptos, especially when it's been such a fun few days in terms of volatility being back and trading opportunity. Tonight, we're going to be going over our release of crypto.chartguys.com, which is going to be an alert-based system. And then we'll go over the big three. We'll also give away uh, some discount codes for both the crypto alert system as well as the course. If you have not gotten that yet, we're going to be giving away some discount codes for that as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. And then we'll wrap it up with the big three analysis and then some altcoin analysis. And then we'll call it a Sunday night and scout to see if we can get any trade setups. So crypto.chartguys.com. It's a text and email alert based system that we have developed. And it is going to be, this is the base and the initial launch. And we're going to be adding to it continuously. And the one thing that we love about the community that we are facilitating is the feedback that we get from everybody because what better way to help traders than to know exactly what traders want so we will be adding other alerts other indicators and other exchanges and different pairings for cryptos as well so the signals that we currently have are when the rsi levels break 30 to indicate oversold or break 70 to indicate overbought the macd to indicate bull and bear crosses inside bars if you've been watching my videos you know i talk a lot about equilibrium patterns which are a micro version of inside bars inside bars i'll go over a little bit more in depth but the inside bars is when we have a tightening range telling us that the the volume is dropping off the price is being constricted and a break of that inside bar gives us the break of that equilibrium pattern and i really love the inside bars and the way that they've been uh, reacting in the cryptocurrency space. They've been giving really good signals time and time again. And I do believe that we're forming uh, a large equilibrium pattern right now on both the daily time frame for the big three, as well as Ethereum on the weekly time frame over the past few months. And into the next few months, we're going to see it play out again, in my opinion. So I'll go over that when we look at the chart. But so as we know, if you've been watching our videos, the RSI indicator is one of our main indicators that we use on entries on oversold bounces. And I love oversold bounces. That's where I get my biggest gains when we see the four hour time frame and most recently the daily time frame oversold. So what this alert system is going to do is you select the different time frames and these are the time frames available. So if you're a day trader, you're selecting, okay, tell me when the RSI breaks 30 on the 15 minute and the 30 minute time frame. And if you're a swing trader, you're saying, tell me when the RSI breaks 30 on the four hour and the daily. And that way you can select whether you get an email or a text message. You can select different times that it blocks that out. So you're not getting these alerts in the middle of the night if you don't want to be. And it's just going to allow you to essentially the ideal target market is somebody who's not sitting at their computer day trading for a living. You know, if you have work or you have family or you want to go out and enjoy yourself and not be checking the phone every five minutes, having these alerts set up will signal trade opportunities for you. So the RSI is a big one. The MACD is nice confirmation. I use the MACD for confirmation where if we get a dump and the RSI tells me my initial trade, and then if I get an, a MACD signal for a bull MACD cross, I say, okay, the trade's working out in my favor and that can make me you know, relax a little bit. And the inside bars, as they get set up, again, that alert is going to be more of a heads up, an inside bar has formed. Now it's time to go look at that chart and get ready to make an entry if we get that bull break. So that's almost like a, a heads up Whereas the other two, they're going to indicate when it happens. The inside bar alert is going to be more of a heads up to allow you time to, you know, not have to rush or not have to skip the process of establishing your trade game plan and what your entry would be, your exit would be, and your stop loss level. And I'm going to be putting out a little bit more information later this week on inside bars, a video specifically for inside bars for a little bit more in depth on how to use that strategy for trade signals doing a little edit here because I misspoke when live and mistyped on my screen. Our current exchanges that we cover are Coinbase and Bitfinex. We do not ex have the Bittrex exchange just yet. We're going to be adding that in the near term future. That's one of the next ones that we are going to add, but currently just Coinbase and Bitfinex. Thank you. So we're going to continuously be adding different signals here as we progress, as well as the pairings. Right now, our pairings are the 16 pairings on Bittrex and we're doing the big three on Coinbase. So it's all of these names are in the system right now. We're getting live data for them. And of course the big three on Coinbase, those are the ones that I'm trading major the majority of the time. And certainly I will be utilizing these 
uh, alerts where I can, instead of having to wake up every two hours and watch the 15 minute RSI, which has been an indicator for me the past two days, I'll go over a trade I made last night based on the RSI, but just knowing that my phone will let me know when this is happening and I don't have to keep waking up and keeping an eye on things, it'll do it for me. So utilizing some robots to work for us. So we're going to continuously add exchanges. I know this is fairly limited in terms of the scope of all the different exchanges and all the different pairings, but it is, again, this is just the, the base floor and we are looking forward to building uh, this service from here. So for signing up, it's $19.99 a month, which works out to 67 cents a day. And what I really like about this is pretty much one successful alert. If you get one alert that allows you to get a profitable trade that you wouldn't have gotten without this alert, either to your phone or your email, that pretty much is going to pay for multiple months of this service. And, you know, one good oversold RSI bounce could pay for multiple years of this service. So that's why we want to have a, this low price point to just be able to pretty much have it be a wash. All you need is to have one successful trade for it, and then you're good to go. It, it pays for itself. So again, you can silence the alerts so you're not waking up your poor wife in the middle of the night if you're sleeping with your phone next to you. And also, we want to give some dis discount codes. So for the first 10 people that go to this website, crypto or crypto.sharkguys.com for this uh, launch. If you sign up with this code that I'm about to display, the first 10 people that use this code will get 50% off their first month. So that's the code CRYPTO50. So this is certainly a better method than having to read through everybody's color guess, which was certainly not fun. But head on over CRYPTO50 to test out these alerts. And I honestly believe that they will be beneficial in terms of not having us staring at the screen 24-7 and signaling us to the most ideal entries because for me last night which i'll go over again on these charts in just a minute i didn't want anything to do with a bullish entry unless we saw the 15 minute rsi get oversold so that pretty much tells me i don't even want to be watching this unless we're oversold on the 15 minute time frame so i could go inside close my computer down and just know that my phone will tell me when that does happen so this, while this is going on and people are filling this up, if you say this, this code is, is not working anymore, that means the 10 people have already uh, been used up. So now we're going to give a 25% discount code for the course if you haven't gotten the crypto course yet and you're interested in that. Certainly a lot of positive feedback and really only positive feedback at this point, which has been very humbling and really rewarding in terms of knowing that we put something really good out there because it's been all wonderful feedback so far. So 25% off the first five people that use this next code, Crypto25, when you use the checkout for the crypto course. The link is in the description of this video, and feel free to use that up. And again, if it says that this crypto or this code does not work, then that means the five people have already used it up. So looking forward to uh, incorporating these alerts into my analysis to a degree where from now on I'll you know, say this alert triggered on my phone i entered this trade based off of this and this is how it played out and we'll be able to follow along a little bit more in terms of utilizing these indicators which have pretty much been the backbone of the last five months of our trading which has gone really well rsi macd inside bars and that is where we stand so let's now get into the big three analysis because we've had some nice action over the past three days obviously the oversold bounce which we've talked to you all since then but now it's played out a little bit further. The last video I did last night, late night, was we were seeing that we were not confirming the bullish reversal candlestick and we were setting a big upper wick of profit taking. So this told me, okay, look for the equilibrium pattern. And that's what I said in the video last night. Now we're looking for a daily equilibrium pattern to play out and it will be a break of this equilibrium pattern that's going to increase, that's going to result in an increase in volume and an increase in volatility and trading opportunity. So as of right now, we have our high of the bounce set which for Bitcoin at this point is up at 4043. Our low of the pullback is 3475. So that is our new range to be watching. That is the range to be watching on Bitcoin from here on out. So our higher low was set today. We saw some nice bullish gains and we'll zoom in in just a minute and see the trade signals for those entries. But where we stand right now, we're pretty much in the dead center of this big upper wick of profit taking and this big lower wick of bulls reloading and buying the dip. So we're going to watch this pattern play out. In my opinion, by Wednesday, we're going to see this break. I would assume on Tuesday it will break. Obviously, it doesn't matter when it breaks. We'll be watching and ready for it. But that is just the way that it's, it's forming right now. And that's what I would anticipate. And we see the volume is dropping off, showing us this tightening range. So we zoom into the four-hour time frame. 
and we can see our high and our low of the pullback and why the bulls have some favor where we stand right now is because the four hour time frame after the top set a lower high and a lower low look at this double low of support this was a very key support here at 3472 because if we lost that level we didn't have much support at all established from where we came from the bottom so that was an important level and the bulls showed up right there 3475 we held it by under four dollars and then we took off and we broke the lower high pattern. Breaking this high of 37.54 was important because that shifted our mindset. If we had pulled back under that level, it would have just been another lower high and we would have looked to have come back down to the support. But because we broke that lower high, we now are anticipating higher lows and higher highs. Speaking of inside bars, we currently have an inside bar forming on the four hour time frame. Although this candlestick just started 10 minutes ago, so we have a long way to go in this four-hour candlestick. But this is healthy consolidation after this bull move today that we were playing and watching to see if the low of this consolidation, so we zoom in for more details, let's see if the bulls can turn around this hourly consolidation. There's no red flags at this point because we have increasing bull volume on the way up and decreasing bear volume on this consolidation. So we are anticipating a higher low on the hourly time frame to form. And then we're going to be looking back up at the top of this bull move at 3841. So you can see every time I zoom in to a different time frame, I'm getting a new support and a new resistance level just because I'm getting more details of where we currently stand. And it's almost like just uh, zooming in the lens of a microscope where you're getting more and more details. Things are blowing up and becoming more clear. And it all depends on the timing of your trade as to how much weight you are putting into each time frame. Again, if you're a swing trader, you don't care what the 15 minute chart is doing. If I'm a day trader, I care a lot less what the weekly chart is doing. So that depends on how much weight you're putting into the time frames. But as of right now, I will be looking for a potential bullish entry before overnight and anticipating that higher low. But I'm not confident that we've set a higher low yet because we don't have a solid bullish reversal candlestick with some solid volume and ideally even confirming a bullish reversal candlestick. So the 15 minute time frame is where we made our bull entries this morning in the big three. And we could see since the dump, we had a lot of lower highs and lower lows. The bears were in control and we pulled back. There was one period here where we did set a little incremental higher high by $4. But there's something that I wanna point out is obviously technical analysis is not exact. So when you have a $4 difference on a 3000 uh, $800 instrument, that's less than 0.1%. So that's close enough that I would call that a double top because we didn't see any follow through when we broke that level. So we got up to 34.54 and then we got 34.57, but then the bears took over for the next hour of trading. So clearly we didn't break that resistance and see follow through. So that's just something I want to note. We can't go by absolute price dollars. You know, if it breaks $1 above the resistance, then anticipate that we're going to keep going. That would have been, you know, maybe you made a bull entry there, but it, you would have been able to quickly realize, okay, we should have seen some more follow through and some more bull volume if that truly was going to be a higher high and we were going to reverse this pullback. So that was a double top and we ended up pulling back and dumping. Here's that 15 minute RSI. So here's where you would have gotten an email or text alert with plenty of time to react to it because we didn't hit our bottom for another half an hour after the 15 minute RSI hit oversold. This is where we saw our bullish reversal hammer. What stands out? Volume climax. It was the highest volume that we had seen in multiple hours, almost a half dozen hours. It was a bullish reversal hammer. We confirmed it, and then we started to see significant bull volume on the follow through. Look at this candlestick stand out. That was the highest volume that we had seen in about 12 hours, and it was all bull, or not all bull, but mostly bull. So once we see this kind of volume and this kind of climax at an oversold level, we can say, okay, we haven't broken the lower high pattern on this bounce. We would have had to have broken 3680. We didn't get up to that high, but because of the volume behind this move and because we're coming off of oversold conditions, I can make a bit of an assumption and say, okay, I'm going to be looking for low bear volume on consolidation and a bullish entry to tell me that we're going to form a higher low on the 15 minute time frame. And look at the bear volume on this over an hour of pullback, very low bear volume compared to the bull volume. This one bull volume candlestick was over an hour and 15 minutes of the bear volume. It accounted for that. So that is ideal volume that the bulls want to see. And then as soon as we got our higher high here again on increasing bull volume, that is when it was very clear the trend had changed. The bulls belonged or the bulls owned the morning. And now we're going to see how high are we going to go. And every time we saw a new higher high, it was accompanied with a big volume spike, which is a great sign for those bulls. 
And in terms of the top, I was looking at a top of potentially 3,800. We have a, had a decent amount of resistance there. The 15-minute RSI was up at 80. The 5-minute RSI was overbought. So I was personally trading Litecoin this morning, and I took my profit based on Bitcoin because the correlations are so strong. I was looking at what Bitcoin was doing, knowing that we weren't seeing any kind of, you know, uh, high volume in Litecoin that would break the correlation with Bitcoin. So I made my exit decision on Bitcoin on on Litecoin based on Bitcoin. And I made I'll go over Litecoin when I made my exact entry uh, last night. But in terms of my exit, I was looking at 3,800 psychological and I was looking at the volume climax that was forming on this 15 minute time frame. So this is the candlestick that I exited my Litecoin trade. And while I didn't nail the top, we still saw some upside. It obviously, I, again, we, nobody's going to make perfect trades. We're not going to hit the absolute bottom and hit the absolute top. I'm very pleased with our exit based on this uh, overbought RSI levels and the volume climaxes, because even though we got a little higher high, we then pulled back for the next, oh, it's about seven hours at this point. So very glad to have exited all cash up here on this candlestick and avoid all of this downside. And now I'm just patiently waiting to see the same game. It's the exact same game we played last night. When are we going to break this lower high and lower low 15 minute pattern? When are we going to set a higher low and a higher high, see a bullish MACD cross and be looking for some follow through? So look at this bullish MACD cross signal. And this is what I was talking about where it's almost confirmation. The 15 minute RSI gets oversold and we look for our entry. And let's say we made our entry on that volume climax. And then we get our bull MACD cross 15, 30 minutes later. And that's the confirmation. Okay, bulls are seeing some follow through and this trade is going to work out. So that would be another signal that could have fired off on the 15 minute time frame if you are a shorter term trader using the crypto.chartguys.com alert system. So keeping an eye out for this 15 minute time frame to change from lower highs and lower lows to get higher lows and higher highs, keeping an eye on the volume. I can tell that this is right now a pretty decent 15 minute bull volume candlestick. And I look back at the previous bull volume candlesticks and it has been this high in the past. So just want to wait patiently for that higher low to form because we did just get a little lower low. So we don't have a higher low just yet. Same thing on Ethereum, pretty much. The correlations are very strong, a little bit different look of things, but same same idea. We have our high of the bounce, and that is resistance up at 278. We have our low of the pullback, where it was our bottom this morning, and we bounced off of 240.15, and here we are right in the middle of that range. So we zoom into the four-hour time frame for more details, and there is that channel that we're currently in. We broke the lower high, lower low four-hour channel. The volume was consistently dripping, wrong word, but tapering off. And then we saw the increasing bull volume, multiple candlesticks in a row, breaking the lower high pattern. So same thing. We are now anticipating a higher low to form. We have multiple four-hour inside bars to watch. This would be another great alert that would be firing off saying, heads up, ETH is forming four-hour inside bars. And as soon as I look at my phone and I get that signal, that tells me, okay, we have a tightening range. We have declining volume. And I know to look at which levels would indicate a break and know that increasing volume would indicate the break is coming. So right now we have a mother bar. We have the range of the inside bar fitting completely within the range of the previous bar. I don't care what the real body of the candlestick is doing. I care about just the low and the high. And now our second inside bar is forming within the range of the first or of the first inside bar. So watching this range continually tighten. And what happens when I zoom in, again, this is the macro version of the setup. And if I want more details, I look at the hourly time frame. I can see our clear higher low, lower high pattern. And if I want to zoom in a little bit more for on the 15 minute time frame, actually let's stay on the hourly for now. But the hourly is showing us this high, this low lower high so I can get a new detail. This is our new resistance level, 272. If that level were to break, I know the lower high pattern breaks. That would be a break of the four hour inside bar candlestick. And actually here, the, the most recent inside bar would break at 266.37. So that would be the bull signal here on the second inside bar if we do get up to that level. And where that stands right now is up here at 266.67. So that would be the level that I would be watching for an indication of a bull break on the four hour inside bar pattern that is currently forming on ETH. So our low of this pullback on the hourly time frame right now is 259.04. Again, not very confident that this is our low being set right now because we don't have two green candlesticks in a row. We don't have a bullish reversal candlestick being confirmed. We don't have any big bull volume telling us this is the bottom. So just patiently watching to see if the 15 minute time frame can break this lower high, lower low pattern and look for the bulls to show up. And I look at this consolidation from this morning's bull run 
And this is ideal consolidation for the Bulls. It may be a little bit more prolonged than the Bulls would be hoping for and how long it has played out. But look at the volume. There is no red flags for the volume after the significant bull volume on the move up. And we're looking at, out for this bullish MACD cross on the 15-minute time frame. We did almost just form a double bottom of support, 259.13 and 259.04. So resistance right now, if we want to zoom in on even more details, 264.21. And that is the lower high that the bulls need to break. So just patiently waiting. We have a decent amount of bull volume here. I can see this is the most significant bull volume that we've seen on this consolidation because it's increasing from one candlestick to the next. And it's two green candlesticks in a row. So we had that back here, but it wasn't nearly as much volume. We add this volume up and it's 812 plus 2K. Let's call it 2.8 thousand ETH. And I look at this bull move and I'm seeing... 5,000. So a little bit of bull volume picking up. That tells me pay attention. We could be getting ready to break this lower high, lower low pattern and be looking to head back up to our recent high, which is the high of the bounce at this point. So Litecoin. And again, just in terms of the sell signal today, after the bull entry signal, again, 15 minute RSI oversold, bull MACD cross for confirmation. We had a high of a bounce, higher low. The higher high occurred on increasing bull volume. And then from there, it was very clear that the bull volume was stealing the show. And very clear climax. We had the 15-minute RSI up almost at 90. We had the volume, the highest 15-minute volume candlestick that we had seen in almost 24 hours at that point. And that was a signal, okay, we're overbought. Here's our volume climax signaling the top, just like we had the Bitcoin volume climax signaling the bottom. And now we're pulling back for multiple hours. That's a candlestick to take profit on. So here on Litecoin, same thing. Daily time frame looks a little bit different, but pretty much the same psychology. We have our low, high of the bounce. The difference here is that the high of the bounce occurred on the same candlestick as the low. And that's because we had that huge uh, bull move up over 60. But I would still be looking at resistance from the high of uh, two days ago, which was really yesterday because this candlestick just flipped over. But I'm looking at resistance of $59, and I'm looking at support of $47.87. So right now we're seeing the range tighten. We're right in the middle of that range. Same routine. You got it down at this point, hopefully to a degree where we're looking, zooming in four-hour time frame. We see our tightening range. We see our volume was dropping off on the pullback. We saw the bull volume increase when we broke the lower high pattern on the four-hour chart. And now we're looking for a higher low and then a higher high for some continuation. The hourly time frame for more details can see our new resistance is right here at 54.10 and the bulls are attempting to form support right now at 51.32 again not confident bull volume not telling me that this is the bottom just yet we're attempting a bullish reversal candlestick i need to see it get confirmed i need to see the 15 minute time frame break this clear lower high lower low pattern which is still very much in play so a lower high is forming right now compared to, if I want more details, 52.71 is the level that I need to see break on the 15-minute time frame. I've been using the 15-minute time frames a lot the past two days as these ranges tighten because of the clear signals that they've been giving. So again, here it was the pullback. It was the 15-minute RSI oversold. We did already dip down to the Litecoin 15-minute RSI oversold previously. And this is where looking at the correlation of Bitcoin would be helpful because you look back here, and this occurred at just past midnight. The RSI on the 15-minute time frame hit oversold on Litecoin. So I look on over to Bitcoin and say, what are we doing here at midnight on Bitcoin? And I can say, okay, the 15-minute RSI was not oversold at that point on Bitcoin. So it's worth noting for Litecoin, but I, knowing the correlation is so strong and knowing that Bitcoin could drop further, that tells me that Litecoin could still see some further downside and be even more extended into the oversold RSI territory because Bitcoin has not gotten there yet. So we did see another flush down and I actually made a mistake with my entry in the sense that I made a mistake at three in the morning after going to a show last night and I uh, passed out while monitoring my trade. I did have a stop loss in place, but if I were have to have gotten stopped out, I would have been upset with myself because it was a lot more wiggle room than I wanted to give because there wasn't a close support nearby to be going based off of. I lucked out by waking up and this bounce was already playing out, but I entered on the initial start of this pullback before the climax i wasn't i was asleep by the time the volume climax happened but i made my entry in the mid 49 dollar range i believe it 49 40 was my entry point i set my stop loss down under psychological resistance and i was using 48 17 and i placed my stop loss down a significant level below that 
just to ensure that I wouldn't get stopped out because the last thing that I want to do is get stopped out on the final flush with the 15 minute RSI oversold. So if I can see if, if I can see that the 15 minute RSI is 20, I don't want to get stopped out when the 15 minute RSI hits 15 or something like that because I know a bounce is going to be happening right away. So that's why I would have been upset with myself for, you know, falling asleep to not monitor the trade and even though I did protect myself by having the stop loss in, I would have been a little upset. So we did see the bulls show up here as well. Again, higher low, higher high, bull volume showing the increase. I exited on this 15-minute candlestick. I actually scaled out on the way up. I sold a, a quarter of my position at 51.95, a quarter at 52.45, a quarter at 52.95. So just walking it up as the momentum, it was pretty slow and steady, but just wanting to ensure that I wasn't going to be still holding when the top was hit because I was seeing the RSIs get overbought on the five and 15-minute time frame. And again, the volume climax here was my signal to exit. I exited the last of my position on this candlestick. And even though we saw a higher high and I could have been sitting there saying, oh man, I could have held on and gotten 30 more cents. I could care less. I made my trade for the day. My day was made at that point and I avoided multiple hours of this pullback. So long story short, the trading overnight for the big three, 15 minute RSI was a indication to get in the bull MACD cross on the 15 minute was the confirmation that we were in the right position and the volume climax and overbought RSI indications on the 15 minute time frame were the signal to sell. All of those are available to be alerted on this alert system. So we could have been sitting there with our phones, gotten the oversold 15 minute, gotten the confirmation bull MACD cross and gotten the overbought 15 minute for sell signal. And again, it's just automated utilizing those robots to make things just a little bit more easier so we don't have to stare at the screen all day. So here we are on, on Litecoin. Lower high is going to be set on this bounce and going to be watching for a higher low and a higher high to shift the momentum. I do believe there is. it's an entirely possible that in the next two, three hours, we will see a bull entry opportunity heading into the rest of the late night here on the East Coast. And we'll be using the support. So let's say right now that Litecoin were to bounce pull back from a higher low and then a higher high, the low of this pullback is the support that I would be using for my initial stop loss level. And I say initial because I would potentially walk it up depending on how the action plays out. I love having a break-even stop loss. Nothing better than going to sleep with a break-even stop loss. So you know, worst case scenario, it's like nothing happened when you wake up. But the low, again, I'm not calling this the low right now because I'm not confident that we've set our higher low, higher high. But once that does happen, it will be the low of this consolidation on all of the big three to be using as our uh, stop level. So looking in back on Bitcoin here, I can see we're seeing a little bit of bullish action. Ethereum looks to be the most bullish on this 15 minute time frame based on the volume we're seeing. But other than that, just not quite confident yet. And I also like the fact that we have this double low on Ethereum as well. So the fact that this setup right now would probably have me play Ethereum over Litecoin because we have a double low at 259 essentially and I like the bull volume here and this climax we saw big time gains on this bounce I haven't done the percentages yet but I wouldn't be surprised to learn that ETH had the biggest gains from the low to the high on this move because of this climax this one 15 minute candlestick we went a $10 move in 15 minutes so it was thinly traded and a lot of volume really pushed things forward so I am going to be looking to play Ethereum tonight if you had to go to bed right now and that was that you could still make an entry opportunity here and put your stop loss just below 259. Your odds of getting stopped out would be higher than if you waited for a higher low and a higher high on the 15 minute time frame. But again, if that's not an option, it's a low risk trade where you would get stopped out after essentially a $2 or a $3.50 loss. So because I'm going to be up for you know three more hours, at least I'm not going to be looking to make that trade because I can wait for the setup to be more favorable in terms of percentage chance that we see the bulls show back up and head back to our highs of the day earlier today. And that's that for the big three. So I'm going to look at some altcoins now that some members have uh, requested. We're going to start it off with NEO USDT on Bittrex. So the daily time frame is where I always start for the analysis. I can see high volume, volume climax signal the bounce where we had our low of 1305. And the high of the bounce right now is 23.29. So that is the key resistance that the bulls have to break. It's a fairly similar setup to the big three in the sense that we have our volume climax from the low, high of the bounce. Bulls are trying to form a higher low here at 18.15, and we're right in the middle of that range. So it is a very similar setup. 
I zoom into the four hour to get more details. I can see we have not broken the lower high. So the big three broke the four hour lower high at this point. Have not done that yet on NEO. 2153 is that level. Zoom into the hourly for a bit more details. I can see we're struggling now at this re level of 2035, multiple tops at 2035. And I can see on the hourly time frame, the bulls have to set a higher low and a higher high. This is an equilibrium pattern right now. High, low, lower, high, pretty much a double bottom down at 18.15. We did break it by $0.08, cents, but again, that's where that little bit of wiggle room comes into play because clearly with that lower wick, the bulls were buying the dip and defending that support. It just very temporarily broke below it. But we have a clear lower high pattern to be watching on the hourly time frame for NEO. Things are tightening up. The volume is dropping off, and NEO should see a clear break within the next, oh, probably sometime by tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. We'll see this hourly chart break in terms of the tightening range. So the daily time frame has not changed the trend yet. We bounced and set a lower high. We have to set a higher low, which could be set here at 18.15, and we have to break to a higher high by getting over 23.29 at this point. Otherwise, the bears are still absolutely in control of this trend. The volume is what gives the bull some confidence, the highest bull volume that we've seen in a very long time, if not ever, and it does look like this is one of the highest bull volume days from that low that we have ever seen. So the Neo Bulls trying to turn around the trend, but not there just yet. ARC BTC on Bittrex. Daily time frame consolidating after a huge breakout. We have pretty healthy consolidation in the sense that the volume is drying up. We're looking at an inside bar on the daily time frame. The low of this pullback right now is 8728. So that's our support to be watching. And in terms of resistance, I don't see a very clear level. I see the high of yesterday of 997 but i want to zoom in for more details and say there's our high of 12 let's see 1229 so that's actually our, our ultimate high there so we can pick out some more levels before that and right now one of the most clear levels would be here at 105 a little double top at 105 two green candlesticks trying to break it before the bears took back over so we have a bullish reversal candlestick being confirmed on the four hour time frame but we are not doing anything to break the lower high pattern just yet. Keeping an eye out for a bull Mac D cross on the four hour. That could be a potential alert sent to our phone or email. The hourly time frame, we can see, okay, the bulls are doing something here. Let's see if we can break this clear fading lower high, lower low pattern with low volume. And let's see if this bull move now results in a higher low and a higher high on the hourly time frame to try and regain some momentum here. So essentially I'm watching a, a big drawn out equilibrium pattern with the all time high the low of the dump after that, the high of the bounce after the dump, and now our higher low looks to be just formed. And I can say I'm confident in that higher low being formed for now because of the bullish reversal candlestick and the confirmation of this candlestick occurring both on big bull volume. This candlestick is only halfway finished. I know by assumption that with 30 minutes left to go, we are going to see increasing bull volume on this confirmation candlestick. CRW, BTC. Daily time frame, very tight. So we're going to see a clear break soon. And it looks like the bulls almost got this break, but there was definitely a lot of profit taking. The one thing missing from this break was volume. So still very low volume on that break. And that was an indication, okay, we don't have the follow through to truly break out of this pattern if that volume is not showing up. And I would be anticipating volume along the lines of 300 plus thousand on a clear break. And that volume was under 60,000 on this current candlestick. So on the daily time frame, we have our high of this move. We have our low of the pullback, lower high, little, just barely a higher low, another lower high, just a tightening range here. Zooming in for more details, the four hour time frame, I can see there's a lot of profit taking from up at that high. And that high is up at 3965. And I'm seeing a lot of profit taking in the 38 to 39 range. So we need to see a close of a four hour candlestick up in that range without seeing the profit taking that we are clearly seeing time and time again. So one thing that this tells me is that <clears throat> CRW is thinly traded, which means when a lot of volume is coming in, it's going to spike up really fast and people are going to lock in that profit when they have it. And the price is going to come right back down just as fast because it's thin 
both on the way up and on the way down. So big upper wicks of profit taking. We don't see nearly as much lower wicks of bulls buying the dip. So that's a little bit of a red flag to me. We need to be cautious here and ensure that we are seeing candlesticks that tell us the bulls are holding. And what I mean by that is these big upper wicks tell us this is profit taking. This is people selling and locking in that spike. Whereas if the candlestick were to close up here without a big upper wick, that tells me people are holding on to their positions and looking for further upside. And the close of candlesticks can often indicate momentum if we're closing up near the highs. So as of right now, these big upper wicks tell me there's still a lot of profit taking going on. Not a lot of bulls are looking to hold for a prolonged bull move. They're looking to lock in that profit when they have it in the short term. So at this point, key support is the low of this choppy action 3-2. Just a lot of choppy action back and forth for a couple days here, but 3-2 has held. So the current range is 3-2 support and 3-9-6-5 resistance. XMR on Bitfinex. So daily time frame, the bulls with a volume climax from the highest volume in the past few weeks, trying to set a higher low here. So there is our low. The high of the bounce is resistance at 105. And now the bulls are attempting to form a higher low at $89. So similar to the big three, not the exact same setup, but the psychology of the same setup is there. Zooming into the four hour time frame for more details, I can see we're seeing a little stall out right now. And it actually looks very similar to the big three where we have that clear lower high, lower low four hour. We have not broken the lower high pattern on the four hour. 98.25 has to break. We got up to 97.14. So it's still a little lower high here. The big three have all set higher highs. So that's the difference between this setup. Everything else looks pretty similar. So watching the tightening range, the hourly time frame is seeing some pretty healthy consolidation. Bulls are looking to form the higher low at 93.72. Not confident just yet that that higher low has been set, but this is a pretty solid bull candlestick. So more confident than some of the other setups that we saw. And on the 15 minute time frame, we have to break the lower high pattern and we're looking to set a higher low and a higher high to indicate the trend change on the 15 minute. So pretty much the, the setup is the same here on XMR as it is on those big three. And that's the good thing about the correlations. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit frustrating where I would rather, you know, Litecoin break out and be able to play Litecoin and then have Bitcoin break out, you know, six hours later and be able to jump around. But I can essentially look at the Bitcoin chart and know exactly what's going on with Litecoin and Ethereum without even looking into too much detail. So that's the one benefit of these correlations. So when I see this setup on the daily time frame for XMR, I can pretty much say, okay, I just went through this with the other big three. I know exactly what I need to be looking for on every time frame. I know the 15 minute lower high pattern needs to break. I know the four hour higher low needs to form and things like that. So one more here, let's go to look at trig BTC. Daily time frame inside bars are forming. So this is a nice signal that would be alerted on a break of multiple inside bars where the inside bars are setting up 2702 is a support. We just formed an incremental higher low 272 and we're still very tight. So the four hour time frame showing me the equilibrium pattern is our low high of the bounce, higher low, lower high, higher low, still a lower high. The bulls have to break three, four, seven, eight to break this little lower high pattern and shift momentum in their favor. They got a bull MACD cross on the four hour. They got a big spike in bull volume on the four hour. So there is some good confidence that we are looking for some follow through hourly time frame. Clear resistance is that level of three, four, seven, eight. So that's what we've got here heading into tomorrow. I will be watching the big three for an entry indicated by the 15 minute time frame. I appreciate everybody tuning in again. Check out crypto dot chart guys dot com see if that's something that would benefit your trading i certainly know it has benefited mine already and i will be able to look away from the computer a little bit more so thanks again we'll be back tomorrow as always to wrap up some more analysis and update us and i hope you all have a good rest of your sunday